First of all, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Uh, this week, I have reached the 1000 subscribers. And yeah, I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. About a year ago, I started this channel and it grew really slowly, but lately uh, numbers are going up pretty fast. So thank you all for watching, subscribing, uh, liking, commenting, uh, sending me all those messages to uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, here on YouTube, uh, through my website. I regularly get some, uh, some messages in my mail. So uh, yeah, it's really uh, overwhelming uh, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I saw this moment coming. So about two, three weeks ago, I asked in a little video uh, to send me your photos uh, yeah, that you would like me to give some uh, positive feedback about. And, yeah, to, to edit uh, uh, for you. So uh, there were some problems or uh, the people wanted to know how I would edit an, uh, an image. So I have uh, did that over the past uh, two weeks and I'm going to show you those uh, in this video. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, you're going to like it. And stick around until the end of this video because at the end of this video, uh, to celebrate my 1000 subscribers, I'm going to give away this print. Uh, from one of my images that is from a video that was released about a year ago and I'm gonna give it away totally for free so uh, yeah, stay until the end and I will tell you what to do to win this image so I've received uh, a number of uh, photos from uh, from you watching and uh, very happy with that so thanks for responding to my uh, <laughs> my request and uh, I hope uh, I'm going to do some good uh, to your images. Uh, some images didn't make it uh, to this uh, uh, video. I already sent some messages because I already uh, pre prepared the whole video. <laughs> and then I uh, got another couple of uh, images uh, sent to my, me by mail. So uh, yeah, sorry for that, but I already sent you a message. I'm going to keep them uh, for uh, a later video. So if you like this idea and you want me to look at your uh, photos uh, sometime, just send me a message and uh, I'm sure there will definitely be another episode of uh, this uh, video sometime. So let me show you uh, uh, these images uh, right here on my computer. So this is the Lightroom uh, catalog with uh, all the images that you've uh, sent me. So uh, I'm going to go through them. I'm going to show you the uh, image that was sent to me. Uh, in some cases, they've sent me the raw file and uh, yeah, the image that I've uh, uh, edited. And I will tell you what I did and how I did it. If I'm going to edit all these images uh, one by one, that this, <laughs> this would have been a five hour video, I think, because there are a couple of images in here that really uh, took a lot of time for me. But uh, I just really like to do it. But I have to say, I was kind of struggling a little bit because um, what the most difficult part about editing someone else's photo is, is that you haven't been there for yourself. There's no reference on how did this scene look uh, when I was there. And uh, I actually kind of struggled with that just to find the right balance in, uh, in light. But uh, yeah, I hope I did, uh, <laughs> I did well. So let's uh, quickly dive in. Uh, this is the first uh, image. This is sent by uh, uh, Michael and he, uh, Michael Messner. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll uh, put a link uh, up here. And uh, he is an Olympus user as well. And we actually uh, are in touch uh, uh, pretty often. And yeah, I, he sent me this image uh, to look at. And uh, yeah, the first thing I noticed uh, was that the balance was a little bit off, especially here on the right side of the image, this, this branch here. It's uh, a little bit too far to the right side. And um, yeah, what I noticed is there is a lot of color here in the background. You can see there's all those pink and purple colors in the clouds. Uh, yeah, I think it's during sunset or sunrise. You can still see the moon uh, up here. But uh, yeah, I thought I would really like to emphasize, emphasize these colors in the sky to make this image work. So what I did, I cloned away this branch on the right side in Photoshop and I really emphasized the, uh, the sky here and uh, did a little bit of uh, uh, contrasting in the foreground and my end result to this image was this result and uh, so i put these magenta and, uh, and pink colors into the sky and uh, I, my, maybe the foreground is a little bit too bright because it's still a uh, uh, sunrise uh, shot but uh, yeah i think it's uh, a pretty nice image uh, good balance in it um, I have no JPEG, so I don't know what Michael's uh, uh, finished result looked like. But I think uh, this is uh, kind of what I would uh, what I would do with this image. So I hope you pronounce uh, I pronounce your name right. But this image is sound, uh, sent to me by Bartek. I think he's called that. He's from Poland. Uh, he watches uh, my uh, channel regular, 
And um, yeah, he uh, sent me an image if I would look at this uh, uh, photo. And of course, and actually, <laughs> this isn't the photo he sent me because I was looking through his Instagram profile and I said to him, well, can you send me this file also? I wanted to look at this one as well. So uh, I really like this, uh, like this image. So um, this is his edit, uh, the finished JPEG that he uh, sent me. And uh, yeah, I just uh, looked at this and I thought, mm, I would like to see a little bit more of this sunrise colors uh, coming from the left side into this uh, image. And I wanted to empathize, empathize this boat a little bit uh, to make this the, the star of the image. So uh, that's what I wanted to try. So this is uh, his raw file. This is the, the file that I uh, worked with. So I'm really happy he sent me this, uh, this raw uh, image. And this is actually the final result that uh, I've created. So uh, yeah, I really wanted to uh, make it look like a long exposure shot. So uh, I did a couple of things to this image. Uh, first of all, I made the boat look a lot, a lot bigger. And I will show you how I did that. Um, it, it doesn't work on every image, but in, on this particular image, uh, it worked pretty well. So if you go all the way down here on your control panel in Lightroom, uh, you can horizontally and vertically adjust uh, your image. So if you adjust it vertically like this, you can see that you're stretching the boat. So the boat gets a lot bigger. But in this case, uh, it doesn't ruin the proportions of the boat. In some cases, when you do this with a house, uh, the walls uh, uh, get diagonally. It, it just, just doesn't look right. But in this case, it just works. You can, you can just do that. So that's what I did. I really uh, made this boat stretch a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. And then I cropped it back uh, to get rid of those white uh, uh, things on the side. So this is how I uh, made this boat look a little bit bigger. And yeah, I did a couple of things. I, I think I uh, uh, used a lot of masks in this uh, uh, particular image. Uh, I think I used linear gradient uh, masks uh, pulling from the side here and then just increasing those, this white balance here and uh, doing a little bit of extra exposing here. Um, I think that's definitely one thing that I did. I made those bright spots on this boat look a little bit brighter. So what I also did with uh, this particular image is uh, I wanted to get rid of these ripples in the water here. So um, it's actually quite cool to, let, to show you uh, what Lightroom uh, can do. Um, because I wanted to select only the water to, uh, to do this. So what I did, I selected the sky. Uh, and then uh, you can see I did a pretty good job. But if you do reverse, you get the water down here. But I don't want this to affect the boat. So what I did is if you push the delete here and then uh, select subject, you will see that Lightroom does a pretty good job in selecting this boat. So now I only have the water here and uh, yeah, what I did, I just reduced the contrast in this water. Uh, I reduced the clarity and uh, I reduced the texture and I think I gave it a little bit more exposure just to make it look like this, this long exposure uh, shot. And you can see that uh, uh, yeah, those ripples in the water are almost gone. If you push the eye up here uh, behind the mask, you can see the before and the after. And uh, yeah, I just really <laughs> liked uh, this uh, effect. So um, that's what I uh, actually did on uh, this particular image. And then the end result that I added, it uh, looks, like, uh, looks like this. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really good image and uh, I think he should be really proud of it. it. If it is my edit or his edit that you like most, uh, I don't care. But uh, I just, the composition and the eye for, uh, for this uh, particular scene, I think he uh, caught this uh, really well. So uh, yeah, he should be really proud of this. So this image uh, uh, is sent to me by, uh, I hope you, I pronounce your name right. Uh, it's Nicolin, I think. And uh, she's from uh, Australia. And yeah, she makes this awesome long exposure shots uh, a lot. And uh, uh, I follow her on, uh, on Facebook. And uh, yeah, it's just an amazing uh, environment that she's uh, living in. And uh, she sent me this image uh, uh, and asked me to look at it. And uh, yeah, the first thing that I noticed is, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, these trees here in the background, this is what this image is all about and this light coming in. And there's a lot of space here on the left and the right that uh, uh, even in the foreground here that it pulls my attention. So um, I actually didn't do 
that much to this image, but uh, uh, it was actually pretty difficult to edit because this image uh, is uh, contains two images. So it's a, an HD shot. So a first image is uh, for the foreground and the midground. And the second image uh, she took for the sky uh, just to make sure that those highlights aren't blown out. So I've combined those two shots into one HDR shot and that's uh, this image. And um, yeah, I think I uh, mainly uh, the main thing I did was I uh, cropped this image back a little and I even tried to uh, get rid of this foreground uh, here but it was just uh, so difficult there was not enough space to uh, to clone that whole section out so i'm sure there are people that can do that but uh, i just didn't like it so uh, i think i made it a little bit like this so just a little foreground and and uh, yeah a lot of those distracting elements around it uh, are gone now and yeah and then i just did just a little bit of basic editing so reducing the highlights uh, pulling up those shadows um, I think I uh, did a layer for the sky here. Let's have a look. I think that's definitely what I did. And I reduced those highlights in the sky and uh, I pulled up those colors a little bit. So uh, this is the uh, image from uh, Nicolin. It's a really nice image. And uh, this is the image that I uh, made of it. So uh, the first thing I told her next time, try to sit in the, in the front here uh, on the water's edge and just try to catch only those trees with those water it will i think make a lot uh, cleaner image but yeah I, I think she can be really proud of this uh, image uh, because it's a stunning moment so uh, yeah <laughs> she should be happy with this shot so this is another image from uh, bartek uh, from uh, poland that uh, uh, the image from the boat was from and um, he only had a jpeg version of this uh, image and um, yeah the first thing that i looked at with this image uh, I really like it, but I think all the attention is pulled to the left side uh, of this image and it's just very bright on that side. And what I actually like most is the right section of the image. So this, this dark, this uh, little bit of uh, hazy water, uh, this, this trees in the sunlight, I really like that. So actually the only thing that I did to this image is I cropped it back and uh, I think I made it a 16 by 9. And yeah, I wanted to empathize this area and uh, it, it doesn't really work because uh, there, there aren't many megapixels left for this image uh, when I cropped it back. But uh, it is shot with a uh, 42 millimeter lens. And I think if you would have a telephoto here, and of course you have to have it in your bag, uh, just try to uh, zoom in to those uh, uh, trees in the background and try to get little bits of this, uh, this scene. Uh, because uh, yeah, what they will say, less is more. And in this case, I think if you would have put the focus on one tree, uh, it would have been a much uh, clearer and, uh, and, and uh, even better image. I really like this, but I think uh, there were more different images to be uh, taken on this particular uh, scene here. So uh, yeah, I hope next time he comes here, he will bring his, uh, his telephoto and uh, he will have these, uh, these cracking uh, conditions again. So this is another image from the same uh, person, also Bartek from Poland. And uh, he, uh, this is actually the original image that he sent me and he asked me to look at it. And um, that's a very noisy image if you, uh, if you look at it. So a lot of noise in this, uh, in this image. But uh, he told me it was almost dark when he shot this image in the middle of a forest on a family trip. So there wasn't much time. He didn't even use the tripod, I think. And uh, a really high ISO, uh, he shot it at the ISO 3200. But uh, yeah, I just really like the scene and how these trees are disappearing uh, in the background. And this is actually how the original RAW file looks. Um, so he uh, yeah, definitely did, uh, did something with clarity here uh, to make that, uh, uh, to empathize this, uh, these colors and these trees. And I actually did almost the same thing, uh, I think, with, the, with settings. The only thing I did is I pulled up uh, the, the yellows and the oranges here on the side and um, I cropped it to a square. So I uh, did a little bit of uh, cloning away on the side here on the top right corner because in this image I think my attention goes to this right tree and my attention should go to this orange tree here on the left side. And that's why I decided to crop away this, uh, this tree on the right. And um, I think it, um, it makes the image uh, look, a lot better, look a lot better. So uh, yeah, that's actually what I uh, would do. And if you want to uh, 
do something with these, uh, these leaves here. Uh, a good thing to do, um, if you dehaze your image a little bit here, just to uh, show it, if you get a mask, and it doesn't really matter what mask it is, uh, you can use a linear uh, gradient here. You pull it down, you hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and you can see if you push it, uh, this changes, and you can make a color adjust here. So if you do this, you only have those orange and yellow colors in your image. So uh, if you go down here now to uh, dehaze de your image, you can see you can only dehaze those, those leaves and you can also change the colors of these leaves uh, just like you want them and make them pop out of this image. So that's what I did and uh, yeah, made this, uh, this final result with this, uh, this image. So this is another uh, image from Nicolin from uh, Australia. And yeah, she should be really proud of this image because it's a, it's a cracking image. And I really tried, I, uh, to be honest, I think I've been uh, uh, processing uh, th these images. These are also two images. You can see here, uh, uh, these are two raw files, one for the sky and one for the long exposure on the water. And she combined those two shots together and uh, made this final uh, edit here. And um, I did my best and I've spent almost one and a half hours working on this image, but I just couldn't get it better than she did. So uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so the only thing that I told her what I would do on this particular image, uh, I would crop it back to a two by three because the sky isn't the most interesting thing in this image. The, the most interesting thing is this uh, boardwalk here and this beautiful uh, long exposed water. So I would crop that back to a two by three and you can see that the horizon is exactly on that uh, two by three line. So uh, uh, if you apply the, the rule of thirds, this is a perfect image for that. And I think the only thing I did uh, uh, in this image is uh, I just cloned away a couple of small things in this image. So all those little distracting things, uh, there are two buoys here, I think. So I cloned away that and I cloned away this, this white sign here on the side. I think that's, that's actually the only thing. Oh, and this, this little hole here that was pulling some attention here, I got rid of it. But I think this is a really stunning, great image. Uh, yeah, what you could do, try if you select the sky here, uh, you might give it a go to make this middle section here uh, just a little bit yeah less bright so less whites in it i think that would make the image uh, a little bit better but uh, yeah this is just an <laughs> amazing image and i wish i would have shot this myself because uh, yeah this is a, a stunning image and a really really good edit from uh, from her herself so there's, there's just not much for me to uh, to do about this image so this is the last uh, image in this uh, video. Uh, this is from uh, Theo, he lives here in the Netherlands. And uh, I've actually seen him uh, uh, once, and a uh, very nice guy. And uh, uh, yeah, we, we go to the same areas uh, quite often. And uh, he actually sent me this image and uh, he asked me to look at it. And uh, the thing he wanted with this image, he wanted to get a little bit more layers in it. So he wanted to have a foreground, mid-ground, uh, background. And um, what he told me that uh, his wife is from Colombia. And uh, this is actually uh, the view from her home, or uh, this is close to her uh, birthplace. And he wanted to hang this, uh, put this uh, image on the wall in his home. And now the first thing that I looked at is, um, uh, of course, I, I looked at the raw file. So this is the raw file that he sent me. And immediately I noticed uh, that he cut away a big part of the foreground here. If you look at this, I'll put the exposure up a little bit. You can see there's a huge foreground and he got a lot of it off. And uh, yeah, he, he asked me to put a little bit of layering in it. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, I just really like those leaves here on the, in the foreground. So I just didn't want to cut those leaves off. And the second thing, there was a lot of blue here in this mid-ground section that I think uh, didn't really look uh, natural. So uh, this is my finished edit. Uh, and I just try to keep these colors as natural as possible. And, uh, I think what I uh, what I did, and I'll try to show you quickly what I did. I reduced those highlights, pulled up those shadows, and I 
definitely increased uh, this, this foreground here with a linear gradient. Just to make this a main uh, subject of this uh, image. And I reduced the size to, I think it is a two by three here. So I think I even made it a 16 by nine. If I look at it now. So I cropped the image back to a 16 by nine and uh, because they are on the left side here were a little bit of distracting things. There's a house and a little bit of a lake on, on the edge of the image that I wanted to get rid of. So that's what I did. And I also got rid of this leaf here in the foreground that I didn't really like in the corner here. So all those distracting elements uh, I tried to get rid of uh, in the final result. And then still, I wasn't really happy with this mid-ground. So I think what I did in my final result is I uh, took a radial gradient, pulled it over here on this mid-ground section. And if I use the old key and I cut it with a color range, I just try to catch only this purple uh, color. So that's what I have right here. And I just pulled on this white balance here just to get rid of this color. So let me show you, this is the before, you can see it's all blue and this is the after. And yeah, I don't know what it was. Maybe this is shot in the blue hour, of course it's possible. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this isn't how it looked, but I think it's more natural to this, uh, to this image. So I did it a little bit preciser uh, on my final edit, but this is how I uh, accomplished this uh, result. Um, I think I put another Oh, sorry, I didn't do this. I made a new mask and I selected the sky. I think that worked uh, pretty fine on this image. I think so. So I reduced those uh, lights a little bit extra and gave it a little bit more magenta and yellow colors here. And that's actually what I did to the sky. And I didn't do very much more to this image because I just wanted to keep it as natural as possible. So uh, yeah, this was the final result that I uh, edited. So I didn't do much more to this uh, image uh, uh, actually. Um, yeah, this is the edit from, uh, from Theo and this was the, the finished result for me. And yeah, it's all a matter of taste, but this is how I would look at it. I would try to keep these colors a little bit more natural. And uh, like I said, maybe it was like that. Maybe it was a little bit blue down there. I have no idea, but uh, I think the image looks a little bit better uh, uh, the way it is uh, uh, now, but it's all a matter of your own opinion. So those were the images that I, uh, that I received and uh, edited. And if you would like to have your image in one of these videos or you want me to look at one of your images, just send me a message and uh, I will always try to help you uh, with uh, your problem. And uh, maybe I'll make another one of these videos in the future and I can use your, uh, your image for that. So uh, if you like that, please send me a message. And about sending messages, if you want to have a shot at winning this print that I uh, told you about in the beginning, um, then just make sure you're subscribed to this channel, uh, push the like button for this video and just send me a message. Uh, you can uh, do it underneath this video. You can do it with Facebook or Instagram. Uh, you can even go to my website www.gudovandewater.nl and there's a contact form there. If you fill that in, I will get a, uh, an email and just send, say to me that you would like to uh, win this image. And I don't care where you live, it's, if it's uh, uh, Australia or America or here in the Netherlands, I'll just put all those names in a little uh, bowl and I'll pull one out and I will send this image to you. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, you are all gonna respond uh, massively. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next week's video. And once again, thank you all for subscribing to this channel. And uh, make sure to stick around for this Sunday's video because it's going to be the second part of my winter wonderland uh, uh, trip. And uh, yeah, this, this woodland that I'm going to is covered with snow and there are some beautiful images there. So uh, I hope you're going to like that. So hope to see you this Sunday and thanks for watching. Bye bye.